In Chicago, a slate of union dissidents led by Karen Lewis committed to complete rejection of Democratic Mayor Rahm Emanuel's reforms has successfully taken over the teachers' union. Teachers there, as many of you know, went, have gone on strike. They um, have built real coalitions with parents and others in the community to demand the real reform, no quotation mark, reforms that schools actually need. More equitable funding, more services, smaller class sizes, and working conditions that would attract great teachers and entice them to stay. Teachers here have been emboldened by that and are mounting similar challenges to entrenched leadership. Um, I would recommend people learn more about the movement of rank and file educators, a, um, a similar insurgent slate here in New York City. Um, and, um, and parents across the nation have been fighting too against undemocratic school boards, high stakes testing, school closings, and the and especially the steady enclosure of private interests on public schools. Um, here in New York City, um, the testing, anti the anti-testing movement has been particularly um, on fire. Um, last year, parent families in at least 33 schools throughout New York City opted out of the state standardized tests in math and English. This year is expected to be far more. Um, at Castle Bridge, a school in Washington Heights with only K through two grades, um, parents just um, voted to opt out of the standardized tests and the principal supported them. No single person has been more important and inspiring to this resistance movement than Karen Lewis. Um, and no single group of people has been more inspiring than the teachers that she um, has been leading in Chicago. Um, they've shown that parents and teachers can work together to put the public into public education.